Hi guys, welcome to lesson 17, the distributive property. Our objective for the day is that I can apply the distributive property and that I can simplify algebraic expressions using the distributive property. Uh, so a couple of vocab words for us. The first one is term. A term is a number, variable, or the product of a number and one or more variables. A constant is a term that has no variables. A coefficient is the numerical factor of a term. And like terms are terms that have the exact same variable factors, meaning they have the same variable or variables and the same exponents. All right. Here we have a, an example of the distributive property and what it says is that we can distribute or multiply letter A by both terms B and C. So Mrs. Smith, who is our guest stenographer today, is drawing in the rainbows and I highly encourage you guys to do that every single time the distributive property applies. Draw the rainbow so that you make sure you're not missing any of your terms. Uh, and it doesn't matter if the A term is at the beginning or the end, if we're adding or subtracting, the distributive property still applies. Uh, and you're still going to draw your rainbow to each little term. Okay? So problem number one, simplifying expressions. We want to simplify each expression, so that means we are going to use the distributive property. Uh, so for letter A, we are distributing 5 times x and 5 times 7. So 5 times x gives us 5x, and 5 times 7 gives us 35. And that's as simple as we can go. Those are not like terms. They do not have the same variable factors, uh, so they cannot be combined. That's our final answer. All right. Letter B, we have negative 6 being distributed to 4B and negative 1. So we're going to multiply negative 6 times 4 and negative 6 times negative 1. So negative 6 times 4 is negative 24B. And negative 6 times negative 1 is a positive 6. Make sure we pay attention to our negative signs here, guys. Letter C, we have 12 times the quantity, 3 minus 1 sixth y. So we multiply 12 times 3, and we multiply 12 times negative 1 sixth y. 12 times 3 is 36, and 12 times negative 1 sixth y is negative 2y. All right. Letter D, we have 12 times 2x minus 3 plus 3y. So 12 times 2x is going to give us uh, 24x. 12 times negative 3 gives us negative 36. And 12 times 3y gives us 36y. All right, so why don't you guys give the next three a shot on your own and pause the video, we'll come back with the answers. All right, so letter A down below, we are multiplying negative y times 2y. Uh, this is an exponent rule that we are gonna get to a little bit later on in the year, uh, but we are going to, anytime we have two y's being multiplied together, the exponent raises by one, so we have negative 2y squared and we have negative y times negative 1. Negative times negative is positive, so it's plus Rack y. Rack Pichaki, please come to the school office. Rack Pichaki, please come to the school office. All right, so we have negative 3 being distributed to negative 3x minus 8. So negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9x. Negative 3 times negative 8 is a positive 24. 
All right, letter C, we're multiplying 1 half by the term 6x plus 24. So 1 half times 6 is 3x. And 1 half times 24 is 12. All right, moving on to the next page, problem number two. Rewriting fractional uh, fraction expression. So one thing that we can do here is using the distributive property, uh, we can break this fraction out and do some simplifying. So uh, 4x minus 16 over 3, we can pull out a one third there and say it's one third times the quantity 4x minus 16. And now we can use distributive property again. And so we'll have 4 times 1 third, which is 4 thirds x. And 1 third times negative 16 will be minus 16 thirds. So for this one, we really can't simplify any, but for some of the others, we will be able to. All right, so letter B, we can bring out a 1 12th and use that as our distribution. So we have 15 plus 6x. Now when we distribute, 15 times 1 12th is 15 twelfths. And we are adding 15 <coughs> times 6 is 6 twelfths, or 6x over 12. <laughs> And this is one where we will be able to reduce these fractions. So 15 over 12 reduces to 5 over 4. And 6 over 12 reduces to 1 over 2, 1 half. So we just rewrite that neatly as 5 fourths plus 1 half x. Right. So why don't you pause the video here, give letters A, B, and C a try, and then we'll pick it up. So for letter A, we are going to just pull out the 1 eighth so that we can distribute it. So inside the parentheses, we'll have 4 minus 2x. And when we distribute, 1 eighth times 4 is going to be 4 eighths. And negative 2x times 1 eighth will be negative 2x over 8. And we can reduce both of those. 4 over 8 reduces to 1 half. And 2 over 8 is going to reduce to 1 fourth. So when we rewrite it, we will have 1 half minus x over 4. You want, <clears throat> would you like it x over 4 or 1 fourth x? Either way would be acceptable. Excellent. All right, letter B, uh, we're going to distribute 1 sixth. So pull that out of our expression. We'll have 1 sixth times the quantity 11 minus 3x. When we distribute it, we get 11 sixths minus 3x over 6. And we can reduce the second term there. 3 over 6 reduces to 1 over 2. So our simplified version will be 11x 11 11 sixth. 11 sixth <laughs> minus x over 2, or 1 half x. All right, letter C. Uh, we can bring the one-fifth out, and so we'll have one-fifth times the quantity 3x plus 1. And when we distribute it, we'll have 3x over 5 plus one-fifth. And that's as reduced as we can go.
All right, next up we have problem number three using the multiplication property of negative one. So we can distribute the negative sign that you see there across both terms. You can imagine that there's a negative one out in the front there that uh, Mrs. Smith drew in for us. So we're going to be distributing that negative one to all of the terms inside the parentheses. So when we do that, we for letter A, we're going to get negative A minus 5. All right. Letter B, we're going to distribute that negative sign. And we are going to get negative X minus 31. And that's all we need to do with these. So I uh, want you guys pause it, give letters A, B, C, and C a try, and resume, and we'll go over the answers. So for letter A, we're distributing that negative sign. So negative 1 times 4x is going to be a negative 4x. And negative 1 times negative 12 is going to give us a positive 12. Negative times negative is positive. Letter B, we've got the negative being distributed to each term. So we're going to have negative 6m. And negative 1 times negative 9 is a positive 9n. And those are not like terms. You cannot combine them. Leave them the way they are. All right, letter C, we're distributing the negative again. We have negative times negative 3m. So that's going to be a positive 3m. And negative 1 times 4n is a negative 4n. So minus 4n. All right, our last problem for the day uh, is going to be the one that I've been referencing a couple times now, and it is combining like terms. Now, in order to combine like terms, remember I said that they need to have the exact same variables and the exact same exponents. So, uh, for letter A, we have 3A plus 6A. They both have the exact same variable terms, and so we're just going to add those together. We have 3As, we're adding 6 more for a total of 9As. So when we are combining like terms, we are going to add the coefficients in front and keep the variables the same. So letter B, we have 4x plus 2y plus 7 minus 3x plus 2x plus 4. So we're going to be able to combine like terms and simplify this a little bit. So I'm going to start with the x terms. And what I like to do is I like to underline them as I go. So I have 4x's and then I am taking away 3x's. Remember the sign in front of the number is attached to it, so that is a negative 3x. And then I have plus two more x's. So four minus three is one, plus two is three. So we have three x's remaining. Next up, I see there's a y term there, so I have two y's, and that's the only one, so we're just gonna write plus two y. And now I see we have some uh, constants. We have a plus 7 and we have a plus 4. So 7 plus 4 is 11. And that's as simplified as we can go. You'll see that there is nothing, that it, there are no variables being repeated there. We just have an x, a y, and a constant. All right, so for letter C, we're going to need to do the distributive property first, and we're doing this in two different ways. Uh, the beginning part is just distributing 3. The second part is distributing that negative 1, like we just practiced. So 3 times 2x is 6x. And 3 times 5 is 15. All right, and then we're going to distribute that negative sign. So negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. And negative 1 times negative 4 is plus 4. So now let's look at what like terms we can combine. We have some x's, so we have a, a positive 6x. And we have a negative 3x. So 6 minus 3 is 3x. 
And we have our constants. We have a positive 15 and a positive 4. 15 plus 4 is 19. All right. Letter D. Now this is where, remember I said it has to have the exact same variables and the exact same exponents. So when we look at letter D, we have 7y to the third z minus 6yz to the third plus y to the third z. So we have two terms there that have the exact same variables and exponents, and that's our 7y to the third z and our y to the third z. So 7 plus 1, and you can imagine that there's a 1 there. Uh, so 7 plus 1 is going to be 8y to the third z minus 6yz to the third. And that is our final answer. Okay, so anytime we've got exponents, make sure you pay attention to those. So why don't you give the bottom three a shot, try them out, see what you can do, and we will go through the answers. So for letter A, uh, let's take a look at it. Start with our variable terms. Uh, I have a negative A there, and that is the only A term, so we start off with a negative A. And now we have our constants to add together, so we have a positive 2, a positive 5, and a positive 8. 2 plus 5 plus 8 is 15. So we have negative A plus 15. All right, letter B, we have 4 times the quantity 3y plus 8, so we need to use the distributive property. So 4 times 3 is 12y. 4 times 8 is 24. Four times eight? <coughs> 32. <laughs> Four times eight is 32. Uh, so then we've got negative six times two uh, y, which is negative 12 y. And we have negative six times four, which is a positive 24. There's that 24. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we need to combine like terms. Let's start with the variables. We have 12 y plus negative 12y, well, those just cancel out, so there's no y term anymore. And now we have 32 plus 24, which gives us 56. All right, and letter C. When we look at letter C, we've got negative 7mn to the fourth minus 5mn to the fourth we have the exact same variables, exact same exponents, so now we can just subtract our uh, coefficients. So negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12 mn to the fourth. All right, make sure you guys fill out your rating scale on the next page. Rate your level of understanding and write the summary for uh, what you learned in this lesson and write down any questions or confusions you may have about the lesson and we will uh, take care of them tomorrow. All right, have a great day. See you in class.